So today, today we are playing a little bit of Crash Twin Sanity for the PS2 Gauntlet. I honestly, at this point, don't remember how long I've had this game or anything, really. <laughs> I uh, had it for a little while, I know that much. And obviously I know what the Crash games are, but I've only really played the remastered ones for 1, 2, and 3. And I gotta be honest, I wasn't a huge fan of the remasters. Like, they were okay, and I love the amount of character that they put into Crash. But from a gameplay perspective, it wasn't my favorite, to be honest. I'm hoping it'll be a little bit different here on the uh, the the older games. Now, granted, this is PS2, not PS1. Hey, Mr. Noodle with the 5-bit cheer. Thank you, love. Always appreciate the bits, and you are the number one bitter. <laughs> Always dropping them bits. Thank you, love. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping I'll have a little bit more fun with this one than I did the other ones. You may not be number one at the moment, but overall, you're the number one bitter. Or at the very least, you're the number one in my heart, love. <laughs> Sleep, my insipid angel. So I don't remember her name, but she just got knocked the hell out. Crash! Crash! Where are you, big brother? There's something weird going on in the bay! Come see! That's a convincing costume right there, man. Let me tell ya. Autosaved enabled. Very cool. What have I got? Alright, so... What do we got? Ooh. It's a little more open. It is I, Aku Aku. My duty is to protect you. Okay. You may summon me by breaking open these crates. Call me thrice, and I shall grant you special powers. Very cool. Thank you, bud. Um, do we have a option for, like, I don't know, maybe some subtitles or something? No? Okay. Not a big surprise. A lot of old games in, but still, I was hoping for it. Um, no, I'm a little surprised. It's so open. Like, it's a... It's a full open world. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's a full open world, but at least this level is, you know, if you've ever seen like the first couple Crash games, oh, them chickens got messed up, man. <laughs> I don't think you should keep your uh, nitro so close to your chicken coop there. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh man. Um, all right, so maybe we scare the chickens over into it more oh do they keep spawning nice ah the directions are a little backwards from what i would normally have them be for the camera movement side to side it's messing me up yeah we can use the chickens to blow up the nitro <laughs> this is this is so rude <laughs> God, i just need the big tower blow up the big tower one go that way that that way no bad chicken Okay, is there an invert option? Because that is really screwing me up, man. Um, options are at the top. Game. Nope, just vibration. Vibration, sound, and graphics. That's it. Cool. <laughs> to me, whenever you're moving straight forward in a game like this, if you press right, you should start walking to the right. If you press left, you should start walking to the left. That's how I like my camera movement to be. And it's backwards. It's inverted from how I would normally use it. So it's really confusing me here. <laughs> Alright, one more. Come on. I need you to hit the box, please. Oh, no. This is... <laughs> now the camera's high. Why is it so far up? There we go. Just... No. Why aren't you touching that one box? There's the one nitro box. That's all I want you to do is hit that one. There you go. You're hitting it, right? I can't turn the camera. Oh no, the camera's already pissing me off. <laughs> this is so bad. Why? Okay, no. We, we got this. I'm about to just run myself into it. That chicken's like so close to it. Are they purposefully dodging this freaking one single box here? There it goes. Thank you. For goodness sakes, that's all I wanted. I have no idea why we need to collect these gems, but we collected one of the freaking gems. <laughs> Anyways, point is, as I was trying to say earlier at least, um, <laughs> if you've played any of the older Crash games 
on the PlayStation 1 or the ones for um, the remakes for, what, PS4? Did they have them for PS3? I don't think they did. But anyways, they were like corridors that you ran down, right? It wasn't a big open level like this. This is a very open 3D experience, which is awesome. Um, I'm a big fan of open 3D experiences. But it is not what I expected at all. I thought it was going to be... Like Crashic Bash. Just a uh, classic Bash, yeah. Just, you know, newer. More polished. Updated a little bit. Uh, fishies, can we go in the water? Nope, we cannot. <laughs> water is death. Okay. So we still can't swim. Good to know. All of the things come back, so I guess there's really no reason to get all of the things, except for maybe... Like, the gems, I imagine, probably serve a purpose, right? But all of the... Are they... What are they? Are they apples? Pears? Peaches? I don't know. I'm guessing they're apples. All the apples probably aren't worth collecting, though, in every level, unless we need it for some health or something. Bro, that was pretty cool. <laughs> it's really short, but that was kind of neat. I'm not gonna lie. I like that. Is there, like, a end point to this level, or are we just, uh, like, wasting a bunch of time here? <laughs> I actually don't know. You know, I should have kind of expected this after playing the Crash uh, racing game, because the Crash racing game had more open levels. So I should have known that they would have uh, open levels for the proper Crash game as well. I mean, it only makes sense, right? But for some reason, that is uh, not what I expected. Okay. So far, I'm having an easier time of judging depth I say as I misjudge depth and die. Because uh, <laughs> that was one of my big complaints from the PS4 remakes of the original games. Re remasters? Whatever you want to call it. Was that I had a lot of trouble judging the depth of jumps and things like that. And uh, I guess I wasn't the only one. I did see some posts online of people complaining about things like that. Something about the way they changed the camera to sit behind Crash compared to the originals messed with a lot of people's depth perception. And apparently, again, I'm just going off of what I read on the internet, also kind of messed up how far ahead of Crash you could see. Um, so for that reason, some people preferred the originals to the remake. I haven't played the original, so I can't say for sure if that's how I feel. All I know for certain is that I wasn't the biggest fan of the remake. But I, I have high hopes, though, for the originals, because I've heard so many good things about it, it is and... Aku -aku. We can't skip this, we have to listen to this every time. I've heard so many good things about it, and I want to like it, so I'm hoping that it's good. Call me thrice, and I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that emoji was for there, Mr. Noodle, but thanks, love. <laughs> You're interacting, I, <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Kappa Ross, yeah, that one. I saw what it was called, I, I hovered over it to see. I just didn't know, <laughs> just because it looked funny, fair. That's... Can't argue with you there, love. Oh, okay, there's a... Uh, what's the dude's name? Neocortex? No. <laughs> I don't know the, the bad guy's name. He's over that way. So I think we should explore this way a little bit. That's a fancy heart there. Where'd it go? The thing that I just hit. It's gone. Wait, did I just get hit? Oh, is he throwing crap at me? What the hell, man? <laughs> I didn't realize he was angry with me. I was just trying to get up there to see what was in the tree. Oh, there's the thing that we knocked around. I wanted to see if we could put it in this hole over here. Does it, like, plant something? Uh, camera's bad. Okay, we kind of have a hold of it. Hey, it did. Very cool. So, can we jump up it now? I don't see any way to get up there, so what was the point of it? Is it just so the monkey 
throws more of the apples or whatever the hell they are down? Was that the whole point of it? Because, I mean, he goes up there and shakes it all around. Every hundred fruits, we get a <laughs> an extra life, so that's cool, I guess. I, mean, I saw the butterflies, and I instantly wanted to eat one for extra health. And then I realized this isn't Spyro. This is Crash. Hi, weird-looking dude. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. Hi, very pretty sister of mine. <laughs> Definitely not another person. I like the artistic style that they went with. The game looks pretty. It looks really nice. Which is something I've said time and time again. Games that use cartoony, original aesthetics just tend to stand the test of time better, in my opinion. How do we belly flop? There it goes. Can I turn this? Oh, wait. Did it turn it? Oh, okay. Just from the back here. Uh, keep turning. It'd be better if the camera wasn't trash. I don't know. I'm guessing we'll get something for blowing all these up, right? Sooner or later, I gotta get used to the left being right and right being left. I say as I continue to screw it up. I don't think this will hit. I think it's going to shoot in between them. Yeah. Just a tiny bit farther over. There we go. GG. Pretty sure we got it now. What is that one? Ripperoni. <laughs> I was going to say, it looks like sausages or something, but... Uh, two sticks of pepperoni, I guess, work as well. <laughs> Alright. Is there another? There is another gem. For whatever that does for us. So we've collected two diamonds and what was the first one? A ruby or something? Does it show us here? It does. Okay, so we got like a blue one, a barely blue one, and a red one. But there are more apparently. Are there only four levels in the game or are more going to unlock as time goes on? Oh, that's neat. Okay, so as we collect stuff, we unlock extras for the level. Like little art pieces and things. That's nice. I can get into it. Um, If we touch this, does it blow up? Oh, okay. Kind of. <laughs> it's gone. Will it respawn? I am assuming we screw that up and we can't redo it. Because I don't see that thing respawning anywhere. That's too bad. That's fine. We can we can try again later. I didn't expect us to be able to interact with all kinds of stuff. Auto saving. Are we actually going in the house? That's what I was trying to do. No. Why did it just randomly auto save then? Hmm. Odd. Come on, what is his name? Was it Neo Cortex? I can't I remember. Press square to spin. Okay. I almost said press triangle to spin. I know my shapes, I promise, but <laughs> I kinda I kinda forgot them for a second. Damn you phone for being on vibrate! Not much, Rue. Nice to see you here. I hope you are well, I don't know. Oh, well, I died. <laughs> I don't know what it's like for you out where you're at, but we got some uh nasty roads going on here. So if you're seeing any of this snow that's hitting us right now, I hope uh, I hope all has been well for you. But not much. We uh, we just kind of ran around a little bit here in Crash to Insanity, just kind of introducing ourselves to the game, trying to get used to a camera that is inverted. I feel like <laughs> it may not be inverted for most people. I don't know how most people use their cameras, but for me. And a open world game like this, or just, you know, uh, any sort of third person platformer game or whatever. I, I, if you hold forward on the left stick and then turn the camera with the camera stick to the right, I feel like you should start running to the right, not running to the left like I am right now, you know? And then if you hold forward and you press to the left, then it should turn the camera so that you are now running to the left. So it is just completely backwards for me, and it is 
messing me up something fierce. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's messing with me so bad. And I don't know if I'm the one that's inverted from most people or if, uh, or if this game is inverted for most people, but all I know is, is that it feels weird to me. Well, you're better than Crash. <laughs> Honestly, I should say I'm glad I don't know where the Marshall fire is. Ooh, I don't know anything about that, but yeah, I mean, being, not being near a fire is never a bad thing. I guess unless, like, you're dying of the cold or something, but, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm glad you're safe and sound, though, at least. That's what's important. I haven't heard from Nate. I was hoping he would hop in chat, because I hope he's doing all right tonight. It's easy! All too easy. After the stream, I'm going to have to shoot him a message and make sure he's doing all right tonight. Kids got some bad luck with vehicles as it is, and then with the snow in our area, yeah. Fire in your state bad enough for the present to fly down. Holy crap, man. Yeah, that sucks. That's no fun at all. I think I would take some uh, snow over a giant fire, to be honest, so. <laughs> that disguise is trash? No. I can't remember his name, but he is looking exactly like Crash's sister. <laughs> I, uh, I'm not the world's biggest Crash fan, to be completely honest with you. So, <laughs> I'm having sh trouble remembering everybody's names and crap. I, the only Crash games that I've played is the remakes for the, the original trilogy on PS4. I may have played it on PC, I think, actually, but regardless. And, uh, yeah, I wasn't the biggest fan of them. They just, they didn't control very well, I feel like. But, I'm wanting to give Crash in, as a whole uh, another chance. And I've heard that some people really do prefer the original trilogy to the remake trilogy. So, one of these days I'll, I'll try them on PS5, or PS5, on PlayStation 1. Why can't I kill these dudes? Uh, I guess we'll just ignore him, because I've lost two health already trying to deal with him. <clears throat> uh oh, Fortnite. Yeah, I mean, he might be fine. He could just be asleep or something. But I'm going to message him just to make sure, because, I mean, he drives for a living, basically, and the roads are trash at the moment, so that's not, not a good look. Actually, you thought about getting the remakes for those games yourself? Yeah, I mean, and if you're a Crash fan, they're probably not bad. Like, the Dorseman enjoyed them more than I did. And I've seen a lot of people say good things about them, so I'm not going to sit here and say they're bad games, but they weren't for me at the very least, though, you know? I I had trouble judging depth in those games in particular for, for one reason or another. Um, and then I feel like the game didn't show you enough of the camera, or enough of the camera, enough of the, the world in front of you because of the camera's angle. It was just, it was very odd. And, uh, yeah, not for me, sadly, which was a bit disappointing, actually, because I was hoping to enjoy them more than I did. But again, I'm going to, one of these days, try them out on PS1 and see if maybe I'll like them a little I bit better there. It's true. Blondes do have more fun. Serious sloth? That looks like a very serious sloth, love. <laughs> Uh, okay, we can't jump that far. Fine, we'll do it the way the game wants. Body slam this freaking worm. I feel like there was probably a secret or something over there. Oh yeah, there, there's another gem, totally. Can I not? I can't body slam after jumping off of him. I have to jump over him and then... No, I want to body slam the dude. Come on. Oh, my Atlanta. <laughs> Body slam. Um, then we're dead. I hate everything. Oh, I'm so mad. You never played a Crash game in your life. You were into Spyro's Rift Rage. And seriously, the old blonde line? The old blonde line? Oh no, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I really liked Spyro, though, too, growing up. On the PlayStation 1. I never played the PS2 ones. I do have Enter the Dragonfly for PS2. But that's the only PS2 
one I have. As of now, at least. Obviously, I'll be getting more of them sooner or later. It's true. Blondes do have more fun. Oh, see, I didn't even... <laughs> I didn't even hear him say that the first time. It's true. Blondes do have more fun. That's what you're talking about. Gotcha. Oh, dude, don't forget to... Uh, first off, don't let him bite us this time. Okay, camera. Cooperate, please. There we go. Get that this time before we forget. And maybe we can just body slam him from up here? Nope. Why can't I body slam all of a sudden? Did, did I break it? No, it definitely still works. I'm just... Why do you hate me, game? I just want to body slam. Uh, not get hit. What are you doing? I actually don't know what's going on. <laughs> like... Why? There we go. Thank you. It's like you have to hit the, the body slam button right at the top of your jump. So getting it over one of these guys is just awkward. And I don't know why I did it again there. Especially whenever he's trying to bite you. Like a piece of crap. We lost all of our health again, so that's good. We're doing, we're doing well. Uh, don't bite me. Any anything up here? If we hit select, can we like look in first person? Nope. Sadly, we cannot. Jump on the crates to trigger a timer. We can do that. Knock over that tree. Timber. So is this remote detonation? Yeah, there we go. Very cool. So far, I'm liking this game better than I liked the remake trilogy. The more open aspect of it, as well as a, uh, a better controllable camera. The camera still has some issues, don't get me wrong, but <laughs> it's a lot better than, than the Crash remake. Uh, I'm okay. The spikes broke my fall. <laughs> Blondes have more fun. Yeah, I heard it the second time around. I completely missed it the first time, though. You have, uh, that game has amazing memories for you. You can vividly remember walking into the store and your mom letting you pick out the game. You chose it because I had a dragon on it, but gods, you love that game so much. Never beat it, obviously, but you could run around for hours. That's amazing, Rue. Gaming memories are best memories. Also, we just killed ourselves. I got a, <laughs> I got a message from YouTube today, uh, an email. From YouTube saying that they were concerned about me because apparently one or more of my videos had some sort of thought that made them think I w could be suicidal and uh, like I I'm glad YouTube's looking out for people in that way but uh, I'm also a bit curious on what the heck triggered them to think that <laughs> like I don't I don't think I've said anything of the sort the only thing I can think of is maybe like just then when I said, you know, that we killed ourselves because of the whole in the video game, maybe, oh geez, that fell off from under us. Maybe it was that sort of thing and they didn't know that. They thought I was talking like real life. I don't know, but I was very confused about it. Now one of my videos was randomly age gated as well, so maybe... Maybe that's the one that had the questionable content, but it was also God of War. So, like, <laughs> I completely understand if they just age-gated that game because, you know, it's God of War. I mean, that's really nice of YouTube, but what? <laughs> exactly. That was my exact thoughts. It was just like, first off, that's cool. I'm glad they're looking out for people that way. Second off, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> like, <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> I was very confused, Drew. Very confused. Are we boss fight? Surprised to see me. Crash. Oh my god! That's not my sister. Your fur, I keep coming back. Three I never would have guessed. I spent alone in the frozen Antarctic wastes, and I missed you. And so I've organized a little gathering, like a birthday party, except the exact opposite. And look, all of your friends are here. 
You are so very popular. Let's start handing out the presents. What the hell? Wait, are we about to just have like a boss gauntlet or something here? Okay, just run around in circles. Spin back Dr. Cortez's plasma blast. We can do that. Take that, dude. Some itchy fur. Why does that sound like it should be some weird designer drug or something? I got that itchy fur, man. <laughs> I'm concerned about one, one or more of those dudes. <laughs> uh, it's not nice to be knocking down the platforms I'm trying to walk on, bro. Here, did he just say one that you can return? Like, why would you tell me that, man? Wouldn't you want to keep that a secret? You just helping me out, bro. I mean, this is this is pretty easy. <laughs> uh, okay, that that fits a little bit harder. Oh, he's like aiming in one spot now instead of following me around. That's how we get around it. I was like, uh, this platform's a little too small to be dodging those bullets. And easy. Ooh, right in the spike pit. That couldn't have felt too well. Too nice. Mecha Bandicoot? Bruh. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, let's not initiate missile attack. How about that? How do I how do I hurt him? Oh, oh, okay, plasma. I should I should have known. See, he didn't he didn't just blatantly say, "Here's one that you can return." Yeah, that's my twin. You can't see it. We look exactly alike. <laughs> I can also shoot rockets. It's just not out of my arm. It's out of my ass. I'm dead. <laughs> Did we get a... We got a checkpoint right before it. Okay. Oh, right before... Right before this part, even. And it even put the uh, the floor back in. That's un unexpected. Initiate missile attack. The saw sounds are weird, man. It's like... I don't know how to describe it, but it's not a saw at all. It's... It sounds like a, a really bad blaster of some sort or something. Like, <laughs> It is good music, isn't it? Great soundtrack so far. Oh, okay. He's switching up his order of attacks on me. It screwed me up a little bit here. Plasma me. Alright, rocket plasma. Rocket, rocket plasma. You got three health left. What you gonna do, man? Is this another plasma? It is. Very cool. What are you gonna do now? Big plasma? <laughs> One more. Come on, you got this. Maybe you'll hit me this time. I believe in you. Nope. Sorry. You tried, though. He looks angry. I'm sorry. Aww. <laughs> Was he crying for a moment? Oh, no, he's looking down. Because he's going to fall. What? Dude, he just took me with him. How rude. I think that dude might be a little high. Is he a rat or a bunny? I don't know. Oh, what is... Okay, <laughs> we're rolling. We're rolling together. <laughs> this is this is unexpected. All right, so we're we're in a bit of a a, a a fight here with him, and we're just we're suddenly playing one of those marble games, Marble Madness or whatever it's called. Mr. Noodle and I used to play one too. Uh, ham hamster ball. Suddenly we're playing hamster ball. <laughs> <laughs> With a acapella group singing some music in the background. That's actually pretty dope. Uh, we're dead. Hamster ball is a lot of fun. 
Should I go in this way this time? What's what's different this way? Maybe not death. Toki Toki Tori is better. I mean, Toki Toki Tori is pretty decent, don't get me wrong, but I don't know if I'd say it's better than Hamster Ball. Both of them are a lot of fun though. Okay, we're dead again. <laughs> Look, I never said I'm any good at Hamster Ball or Marble Madness or whatever that other one was called. <laughs> Uh, stay in the track. And not the nitro. This is a neat little random game mode here, though. I know that's something they did in the other Crash games, was they would have random segments where, like, they would just change up the gameplay. Like, you would be running towards the camera, away from something that's trying to kill you or running towards the camera or I'm sorry running yeah running towards the camera while something's chasing you or running away from the camera riding like a animal or something oh we're dead again I guess I didn't have enough speed I was trying to break those boxes I wanted those two one-ups oh, okay is there like a stop button or something no sadly you know what other game has a mechanic like this? Uh, Mojo. <laughs> uh, in Mojo, you're basically a... Freaking marble. But you're trying to break a bunch of colored blocks, depending on your power-up. Uh, okay, don't die. Where? How do we get across? Do we hit all the colored gems? Oh, yep, that worked. Oh, uh, it almost killed us, too. All right, random green gas is bad. Um, I don't trust myself to go that way. And we can't go this way, though, so this way it is, I suppose. I think these are jumping blocks. Okay, yep, they big jump blocks. <laughs> I like the Looney Tune-esque animations, though. I was watching a bit of a video on how they were able to make Crash 1 work on the PS1. Because, in a lot of ways, it shouldn't have worked on the PS1. It was just far ahead of what a lot of other people were doing. Um, and one of the things they talked about when they were making the game, it was very important to them that it felt like a cartoon world. They didn't want to be like Tomb Raider and whatnot with these realistic yet boring worlds. They wanted to have something fun and cartoony and unique. And in that regard, at least, I'd say they very much succeeded, you know? Oh, he's literally spanking me right now. <laughs> so, wait, every time we stop rolling, do we get into like a different pose? Like a different fighting pose? No, I guess it's just kind of random whenever it happens, but that's funny. All right, we got this. That was close. All right, so we need to hit the three thingies. Hit, hit the gems, please. GG, good job. Oh, no, you pieces of crap. Holy... Oh, man. <laughs> I feel like this part isn't meant to be this hard. I'm just being really bad. But, like, holy crap. It looks like the lives don't respawn every time, so... There's no point going back over there to try to get them again! We're gonna die. I know I don't have a face cam, but I, I'm literally face palming. Like... Oh, my Lanta. I just, I just want to get through the section, please. I don't even think it's a bad mechanic or a badly made section. I'm just playing very poorly. <laughs> it's the universe's way of telling me, hey, you're past the point where you're supposed to be taking a break. That's what it is. All right, on that note, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take that short break. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stretch, take a deep breath, maybe get a quick drink. And then, and then we're going to come back and we are going to just one shot this section. Gonna, like nothing else, man. It's just going to be perfect execution all the way through. <laughs> we'll be right back. 
Okay, so the, the bar in the top right seems to be... Has something to do with how many hits we get without being hit, I think. Oh, okay, these guys are still spawning in. I was hoping we could take a second to kind of figure out some of the combos and controls or whatever. But not yet, I guess. Alright, so triangle seems to lunge forward and do an attack. Yeah. What's circle? Circle is nothing that I can tell. X is jump. Doesn't look to be a double jump. And... Oh. Okay, so that's some sort of special move. R1's block. L2's nothing. R2's nothing that I can tell. Now, we leveled up. Does that mean that we can, like, put some skill points in or something? Let's see here. We got items, of course. We got the herb that we just picked up, which does something. I think health. Yeah, restores 80 health. And then a talisman of protection. Talisman that disperses all calamities and misfortunes. Instant recovery from calamities. Very cool. We can assign... Ah, quick menu. Nice. So we can assign to the arrow keys. And then we got some key items there as well. Equipment. So different armor, weapons, and things that we can pick up. But of course, we haven't gotten any of that yet. And then this is us, right? So we can... Requires three pieces. We can level up our health, attack, and defense by collecting pieces of something. It looks like. But it doesn't appear like we can just level ourselves up directly as we gain experience or anything like that button configuration this should tell us so the l1 that's that special attack thing system screen status defense and observation triangle okay that's a special attack circle hey we're back all right um well since while i'm thinking about it since i'm not going to be able to do my normal sunday afternoon stream and nor am I going to be able to do my normal Saturday night stream because of work having me on a weird schedule this week. I'm most likely going to be streaming tomorrow night uh, to kind of make up for it as well as just to get a little bit of extra content made because, again, I am going on an actual vacation here in a couple weeks and I won't be able to stream for a while. So I want to have a little bit of extra content just to keep the stuff moving on the VOD channel on YouTube. Plus, there are some games that I just kind of want to get through. So I think what we'll probably be doing on those nights is a heck you retail. Yes. <laughs> 100%. But uh, we probably won't be playing anything too exciting tomorrow, though, to be honest. I'm thinking of just playing a couple of the sports titles just to get through them because uh, I'm not a big fan of sports games, if you somehow don't know that already. And uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I just, I just want to... I just want to play them, get them over with, and move on to whatever is next. And in my opinion, more fun. So we'll probably just try like two different sports games, I think. Maybe, I don't know exactly which ones. I haven't thought that far ahead yet. But yeah, that's probably what we're gonna do. And then we'll just spend like an hour on each. That way we can do two in one night to get through them a little bit faster. Sports are kind of lame in video game form. I couldn't agree more, to be honest. I like sports in real life. Like just playing sports is fun. But not in video game form. Unless it's like an arcade sports title. Those can kind of be fun. Like NFL Blitz and, um, uh, you know, like the Tony Hawk game. Stuff like that. But you personally don't like sports at all anyways. I don't like watching them. I feel like if I enjoyed watching them, I would probably enjoy playing them a bit more. But I, I can't stand watching them. And, uh... I, own, I enjoy playing them, but I've, besides Little League Baseball, I've never, like, played on an actual team. Well, that's not quite true. I did play in my church's, um, basketball league as well, um, because that's super important and official, obviously. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, like, other than that, I've never even really played sports in any serious manner. Yes. I just uh, play with friends, you know, touch football, uh, a little bit of tackle football there for a little while, basketball, playing horse, things like that. Aren't you already crystal crazy? Like, what you worried about me for? I think the most you ever did was play soccer at recess. I mean, hey, soccer at recess is a lot of fun, so... 
That doesn't sound like a bad time at all. I really liked playing Foursquare during recess. That was my favorite, I think. Are we... Use Cortex to spin the red cranes? Oh. Gotcha. Okay, this is what we're doing. I don't know exactly how this works, but... All right. Trust me. We're pals, right? Are we, though? I don't really think we are. <laughs> is he... Is he actually helping me in some way? Hey, Mr. Noodle with another 5-bit cheer. Thank you so much, love. I try a decent, decent bit of sports, Mr. Noodle, but you don't like them. Didn't you... Which ones did you play, Mr. Noodle? I feel like... I know you've told me at some point. Okay, so we can't do this on our own. We have to have Cortex here to make this work. So where is good old Cortex? Oh, he's back over here. What the hell? How'd he get back over here? After we threw him over, he just like teleport back, but... Tap dancing, I knew that. Basketball, I'm pretty sure you told me about. Karate? I think you did tell me about karate too. Which is funny because like... You and karate? <laughs> like, <laughs> that does not sound like you at all. <laughs> and then flagline. Yeah, you've told me about flagline too. Oh, he does just literally teleport back. Why doesn't he just stay over there? That's so weird. Also, he just pulled me off the freaking cliff. So karate didn't last too long. <laughs> yeah. You just remember when the last time you played Foursquare, you ended up twisting your ankle? Where you did that multiple popping sound. Oh, no. Yeah, that does not sound fun at all, Root. <laughs> I missed cheer. <laughs> he just did a little bit of everything, now didn't you, Mr. Noodle? I don't really consider, like, a cheer and flagline a sport. It is very active, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it isn't. I'm just saying I don't really consider it a sport, though. It doesn't sound... Like, when I think of a sport, I think of, you know, basketball, baseball, um, uh, I guess, you know, hockey, soccer, football, did I say football? Basically, all the sports ball stuff. Are we gonna go into another tussle? Yep, okay. Hopefully, we get another life soon if we haven't already. Can we roll uphill? We can. Just barely. I need that life. I need it. But aren't there, like, cheerleading competitions? Oh, no, there definitely are. Because I can, it's it's a very physical, a very demanding thing, and uh, it definitely takes a lot of skill. I just never think of it as being a sport, you know? But, holy crap, we have no extra lives here? We might die here. Oh, uh, no, go this way. This is... Harder than I feel it should be. But I feel like a lot of that is probably just me being bad at the game. Flagline and typing. Tap, tap. Yep, words. Flagline and tapping were your favorite, huh? We can use Crash and Cortex to smash normally unbreakable things. That's neat. So are we gonna be like teamed up for the entire game? Or like... Is there another one? Oh, we probably have to throw him, don't we? Is he gonna be smart enough to hit it? Or is he just gonna teleport back? Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> that didn't work. <clears throat> All right, uh, can we throw you straight maybe? No. Nope. There's like no way to make these ring either without this dude. Sometimes they just don't want to ring. Do they have to ring in a certain order? Maybe that's the trick. There we go. We hit him that time. Surprisingly, never hurt yourself during any of them. <laughs> she is super clumsy, so that is pretty surprising to be honest. Secrets, maybe? Around the bend? Nope, nothing. 
nothing. Not even an apple, man. This is a very dark platform. It's a little hard to see. Oh, oh no, the drill's coming for us. Drill is coming for my ass. Uh, go, please go. Oh no, we were supposed to hit the things. We're dead. <laughs> I didn't see the gems on the way up. Definitely need to hit the gems. Okay. So we gotta, we gotta, we gotta hurry in this section. Let's just, just go. Okay, one, two, three, and we fell. What just happened? How did we fall off? <laughs> oh my lord. I hate this game already. I hate it. It's the worst. Terrible game. One out of ten. Never want to play again. <laughs> Ugh. It just irritates me how bad I am at it. Like, I don't even have an excuse like I did with Crash Remake. With the, with the angles feeling off or weird or whatever. And, like, there being no, no good depth to it. Oh, we had to go to the bottom first and then come up? Trash. Has it been the same order for those colored gems every time? Or did we just have to know that we needed to go the other way first? Now, I'm not certain, but I am pretty sure that these PS2 Crash games were made by a different person than the original Crash games on... PS1. I could definitely be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Okay. Ah! Shoot! Too slow. We still have three lives. It's okay. It's okay. As long as we don't go to zero and have to replay the entire freaking level, it'll be okay. Oh, no! Why, game? <laughs> Deep breaths. Everything is going to be okay. Just have to channel my inner Dorseman and remind myself that everything is going to be just fine. Nope, we have to go back down. We have to go back down or we're screwed. Screwed anyways, apparently. Whoa. Buddy. Is there like an infinite life cheat for, for this game? <laughs> okay. You really want to channel Dorseman? I mean, I want to channel his, uh, his optimism, I guess. <laughs> that's, that's all. Alright, so hit that one. Go over here. Go back. Hit that. Hit that again. Okay, we don't have to stop for that anymore. Go up. Hit that. We don't have to worry about hitting that. Grab the gem, I guess. Are we safe now? We were one platform away from being safe and we screwed it up last time. I'm not going to worry about getting those crates. I feel like I'm just going to die. <laughs> no idea, but you think I need it? <laughs> I do. Um, this looks like death. Yep. How was I supposed to get through that? I'm sure there was some way to. Oh, I didn't mean to throw him. Blow up. Wait, did I just kill Cortex? Wait, did that count as a life against me? Because I killed him? That's some BS. He was just going to leave right here anyways. Tis indeed death, sir. <laughs> There's got to be some way around it, right? I can't throw him or anything. And if I touch these, they just blow up instantly. Now, one of them's hopping around. Is there a reason for it hopping around? What do I do? Oh, I didn't mean to throw him again. Can I just leave him behind? Yeah, okay. That's. I guess we could have just did that then. Weird camera angle here. Uh, what? 
How the hell was I supposed to know that? <laughs> that hitting that one random box that looks like a nitro box was actually a secret remote activator for the nitro boxes later in the level. What? <laughs> that is a little bit aggravating. All right, we got this. Just gotta land right on it. Awesome. We're the goat. I was fully expecting us to die right after I said that. Oh, hey, we're back out in the, the beautiful, nice, open landscape where only half of the things want to murder us. What the hell? How are you fools? Before the awesome might of the evil twins. Aren't you too adorable? Let me see. I might have some chalky treats here for you. Chalky treats? Oh, We've some good news and some bad. The bad news? We're going to destroy your precious islands. The good. You won't be around to see it. How tiresome. Oh, you wanna play mind games? Okay, tough guy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Let's play mind games. Just straight stole his you brain. I love all the character they put into the game, man. And then like the the just random unzipping, like a zipper just appears and then they, they, it opened up into another dimension like that. Like that was pretty cool. I like that. That's why I wish I liked the Crash games more, like in general. This one here seems pretty decent so far. Although we did really struggle with uh, some of those parts there. But like, I, I want to like it more than I do. And I, I wish, I wish I did, but I just can't. I can't bring myself to love it, and I don't know why. That was cool. I don't know what this blew up. But this blew something up. The plunger. There's another plunger up there. Oh, chickens! Chickens, I need you! I'm, I'm sorry to do this to you, chickens. Chickens are friends in real life, but... I need you to do a job for me. <laughs> Thank you, chickens. I greatly appreciate your sacrifice. It was for the greater good. I, I think it might have gotten me an extra life. At the very least, it got me a couple apples. And I mean, what more can you ask for, man? Than a couple apples for Crash. If we get 100, we get an extra life. That seems important. Nice, we got the purple gem. Oh, we were actually supposed to go up top, weren't we? Poop. Alright, going back up top. I didn't expect whenever I saw this game, or even like whenever I first started playing it, for the entire soundtrack to be just like acapella music. It's kind of a bop though, not gonna lie. <laughs> like, I'm kind of digging it. But I, uh, you know, it's not what you expect whenever you play a... Uh, well, at the time, I guess it probably would have been considered a triple-A game, right? Like, could you imagine if they came out with a game now and it was just... The entire musical score was just... Pentatonics or something? I mean, Pentatonics is actually a pretty big group, so... Maybe that would be a big deal if it was them in particular. But an acapella group just... Somebody that's not pentatonics. Also, now we have no music, and it feels very eerie. <laughs> like, it was all light and happy, and then all of a sudden the music disappeared. And now it just feels wrong. Hey! Okay. Another whatever that is. Is that a, a save? I don't actually know what that icon means. I'm assuming it's saving. You, 
have to help me, Crash. You heard them. They want to destroy our island home, humiliate and enslave you, and steal my brain. How I envy the simple life of the tribe's folk. What have I got? What have I got? What have I got? Living in harmony with Mother <laughs> Nature, the noble boar, the humble bumblebee. Yeah, he probably deserves that. <laughs> Clear a path for Cortex? Oh, are we like, it's just gonna happen? Uh, okay. Um, hit this. Is this on a timer? I hope that's not like on a timer. Trigger the man trap by jumping on the red button. Got it, done. Um, raise it. Also, why are we working with this guy? I honestly don't know. In all the other games, he's the villain. So I don't know what this is about here. But um, apparently it's important that we work with him. Uh, how do I? Oh, okay. I was like, how do I get around it? It's a bunch of spikes and they're trying to kill me. I guess we just got to wait. Got to be patient. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love seeing him get screwed by all these bees, though. That's <laughs> he deserves it. TBH. Um. Okay, so we just jump on that, blow this up. So far, so good. Uh, hit that. Jump on it. So that's gonna make him turn. You know what game I really want to play now after playing a little bit of this? I want to play Super Mario 64, man. <laughs> I've never beaten Super Mario 64, but I've played it a lot and now I want to now I want to play it again. Platforming gold right there. Super Mario Odyssey was a lot of fun too if anybody's never played that one. Really good game. And I killed myself. Yeah. I think, honestly, I would enjoy... How did I get hit all that time? Anyways, I think, honestly, I would enjoy Crash a fair bit more if they were a little more lenient with the health system. Like, you don't technically die in one hit, but you die pretty quickly. Honestly, same? Yeah. Like, like you look at Mario games and what... Again, with the... I don't know why suddenly I'm taking damage on them. I guess that time, like, I kind of walked onto it instead of jumping onto it. So maybe that's why I took damage on it. I didn't get the chance to, like, jump off of it. But, like, yeah, anyways, you look at, like, Mario 64, Sunshine, whatever. You have, like, multiple, multiple hits you can take. And they're pretty lenient with giving you more health throughout the level, too. And in this game, there's just, like, the constant checkpoints and instant death pits and... I, uh, talk about... Oh, excuse me, jeez. I talk about not liking instant death pits a lot and just one more level and whatnot, too, though. It's just... Instant death pits kind of annoy me in video games. I understand why they were a thing back, like, when arcades ruled the world. Because, you know, they had to get money from people by them dying and getting more lives. Uh, putting quarters in, I mean, to get more lives. But in this day and age, like... Or even by the time of the PS2, like, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't see the point. It's just artificially making a game last longer for the hell of it. Yeah, not needed now at all. But I don't know, I, I guess it's kind of a double standard for me though, right? Because I also tend to play games on hard difficulties. Um, like, RPGs and, and Skyrim and games like that where you die relatively easily there as well. So, but in the defense of those, you also have save systems, robust save systems, so that you can you can save basically anywhere you want. So you if you know you're going into an area that's gonna be difficult, you can always just drop a save in. I was, uh, mm, I was not under that. I was like halfway across the screen. Maybe not quite that far. Okay, we have three lives. Hopefully that's enough. I really don't want to do this section again. I'm getting a little tired of it. That scream is getting annoying now. Exactly. 
Just let me, just let me not die, please. I do feel like they're a little more lenient with the health in this game than they were in the remakes that I played. So I will give this game the benefit of that, but I also made it farther in those games than I have in this one, so that could change later on. Make sure he's well and truly clear of that. I right, hit that and then just GTFO. Apparently, freaking died. I swear, if I die one more time, I'm done. <laughs> this is. Right, we can't use the D-pad. Maybe I should try using the D-pad here, since we are like doing precision platforming, if you want to call it that. It feels weird using the D-pad, but I can definitely walk in a straighter line with it than I can the joystick. Alright, hit that. Jump off of that. Don't get trapped in it this time, Crash. Kill this dude. Go up here. Wait for him now. Because God forbid we get too far ahead. Stand on this wait until he's completely clear of it thank you mr noodle for the five bit cheer i wasn't paying attention i was looking at the freaking cheer oh my god i'm gonna start screaming <laughs> i'm so annoyed that's not your fault mr noodle that's totally on me but <laughs> i looked over at it at a bad time jumped right into the freaking nitro box oh man but thank you, Mr. Noodle. Honestly, thank you. I appreciate the, the bits. Ugh. <laughs> no, I like the bits, love. Thank you very much. <laughs> They're too distracting. Oh, no. It's just, it's all on me. Hey, Avalon, what's up? Some good old classic crash. Yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm not having the best time with it, sadly. I love the art direction, and I love the character, but I am just bad at it. Like, well and truly bad at this game. And, and because of that, I am struggling with it here, man. <laughs> uh, okay, now we're killing enemies form, it looks like. Yeah. Alright, so far so good. We got this. <laughs> Like, that image of him being back there being chased by a freaking bear and whatnot is hilarious. But, what? Why can't we crush the bear? We can crush Cortex, but we can't crush the bear. That's cheap. Oh, we didn't have to kick that one. Okay. Um, will the Nitro kill that thing? It will. Thank goodness. Uh, no. No! Hug. Ugh. <laughs> I'm struggling here, guys. I am struggling. <laughs> you don't think you were ever good at any Crash game aside from maybe Crash Tag Team Racing? That one's pretty fun, to be honest with you. I had some fun with Crash Tag Team Racing. It was a little weird transitioning between um, the, the platforming segments and then randomly going into the racing segments. Like, it was a little jarring, but it was fun. I, it was a good game. I liked it. Wait, is the bear gone now? Okay. Really? That was the end of it? All we had to do was stand on that for a tiny bit longer. Uh, oh, no. We're down to two lives, man. Every time we build a couple up, we just get into some sort of section that I suck at. <laughs> That is rough. I could probably stop using the D-pad now. Go back to using the uh, the joystick. Makes a little more sense here. What? What just? How did we get stuck there? All the apples, please. It's 11 p.m. There, you got to work tomorrow. Yeah, go to bed. It's nice seeing you though, Ruth. Thank you for being here. And I hope I see you uh, tomorrow the next day or whenever. Most likely tomorrow night. I should be streaming tomorrow night a bit. Although, like I said, it probably will just be some sports games or something. Nothing too exciting. 
Just some stuff that I got to get through sooner or later, so I might as well do tomorrow. On an unscheduled stream day. But it's good seeing you, Ruth. Thank you for being here, man. Have a good night. What just... What just happened? Did we hit the bird? Is that why we stopped? I see this dude with the, the giant glasses there. I assumed he's the one that's like throwing crap at us or... Wait, what? It just stopped me like I couldn't move. It just stopped me in my tracks. I, I saw it said something right here after he looks at us. Maybe maybe I'll have to actually quick crouch behind the reeds before the tribesman sees you. Oh, too late. He saw me. Okay. Is there like any indicator of when he's going to see us or anything? I was on it. I was clearly on it. <laughs> oh, 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 oh no. See, this is what happened with the remakes of Crash. That time it was on me. That was on me. But like the game was like, all right, this isn't too bad. And then suddenly there was just sections that I was so bad at. And that just felt really cheap. The deaths felt really cheap. And I just kind of gave up on it. All right, so I'm assuming he can't see us here, right? Because we're, we're behind the reeds. Okay, so when he has his eyes out, maybe we have to hide? Okay, he's got his eyes out. I think we figured out the mechanic. I feel like I may have been a little slow. Uh, surely he can see us. These reeds are not hiding anything right now. <laughs> Checkpoint. Thank goodness. Although with only... Or no, I guess this is our last life. With this being our last life, though, I don't have a whole lot of hope. I say as I fall into the water and die. You live on an island. Why the hell have you not learned to swim yet? <laughs> like, come on, man. How far back is it going to send us? Hopefully after the B section. It did. Okay, cool. Well, on that note, though, I do see that it is time for just a short minute, minute and a half break while we get rid of those pesky pre-roll ads, as well as just giving me a chance to stand up and stretch. So we will be back in about two minutes. Okay, very cool. Oh, nope, didn't want to go back to settings. We, we looked at the settings, we're done looking at the settings. We want to return to the game, please. Okay, so he jumped down there, but can we go on the other side of this? Nope, okay. <laughs> We can clearly jump over it, but the game doesn't want us going there, so we shall not go there. Oh, cool. We can climb stuff, though. Potion of power. Potion which increases muscle strength. Attack powers increase temporarily. Very cool. Uh, so we can kind of, like, we can kind of, like, wall jump. Kind of, yeah. We got to press X again to actually do it. I like that we, we don't fall off of ledges unless we jump off of them. That's nice. Save your game here. Save progress. Yeah, of course. We'll go ahead and throw down a save. This is another one of those games, just for anybody out there, if they do decide to try it out, that does not seem to work with third-party memory cards. Before the stream started, I had to swap out my very large third-party one that I generally use for one of my official ones. The K tree has toppled over to form a roadblock. It looks too heavy for you to move. I mean, you can very clearly jump over it. You just jumped up the side of a mountain a moment ago. But yeah, sure, whatever. A, a little tree's in the way. <laughs> I'm assuming it's just gonna keep saying the same thing with these. Yeah, okay. But what about this? This is different. It's an old landmark that must have been put up by a passerby long ago. Can I break it? <laughs> kind of a dick move, but yeah. We can just we can just smash it. That's fine. Alright, so it's a fixed angle camera, which uh, a lot of people probably know by now with me that I actually quite like fixed angle cameras. Um I think they work really well, especially back on, like, the PS2 and whatnot. Okay, this section here, though, is a little confusing when that camera angle changes. Like, fixed-angled cameras are very nice. I think it allows them to add... All right. We are back. Let's get back into the game view. There we are. Had a minute... A minute? Had a minute to take a breath, stretch out a little bit. Everything is okay. I didn't take a drink, though. Let me take a sip. 
All right, that was a little more than a sip. Ah, oh, delicious. Okay. Let's get back into the game now. We got this. How many... I wonder how many levels there are in this game. I have no clue. All right, just gotta, just gotta take it slow. I think we're just taking things a little too fast, you know? Just gotta... Take our time with it. Breathe, relax, everything is okay. We just slid into the water. Because <laughs> if you move and crouch at the same time, you slide halfway across the screen. That's fine. It's okay. Everything's okay. I wish the doorsman was here. He could just... Did I just die? What, what happened? I was in a cutscene, and then suddenly, as soon as the cutscene was over, I was dead. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> what, what was I supposed to do there? That was weird. I think it's because I landed on... I'm facepalming again. I need to get a camera. <laughs> so y'all can see every time I get so annoyed with myself that I freaking facepalm. Alright, I was just saying... We need to calm down. We need to just take it slow. We need to just breathe. It's gonna be okay. We're on it. There we go. But as I was trying to say, I'm guessing it's because it, like, teleports us to the center of this platform. And we happen to, whenever we got teleported to it, be on the, the boat there that we rode to get over here. So I'm guessing we were too slow. I'm guessing whenever we landed on it that it uh, glitched out and like knocked us into the water or something. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. I also, I thought we were crouched behind the reeds, or at least I was trying to crouch behind the reeds the second time there. I'm so glad that we're getting these game overs though right before a level transition like that. Because if I had to do this all again from like the first area that we started in tonight, that would be rough. That would be very rough. Okay, he's done. Quickly now. Okay, you can't see me. Can't see me. We are invisible, Bandicoot. Somehow you can't see me, even though I'm basically directly underneath you. Alright, checkpoint. Thank goodness. Now, all we gotta do is go on two boats. Back to back. It's gonna be easy. It's gonna be, it's gonna be okay. Just gotta, there we are. And then, camera not cooperating. What? <laughs> Depth. Depth is hard. Oh, I got so scared. I thought we didn't make it again. Okay. Uh, why are we... Oh no, there's a... <clears throat> I didn't realize there was another dude that could see us there. <laughs> I'm actually kind of glad that the stream's almost over for the night because I am so freaking annoyed. <laughs> oh man. Sorry, we got it. We got it. I want to light crash and that's why I'm so annoyed by how bad I am at it. Is because I really do want to light crash. I love the character of it, of, uh, uh, like, the character that everything has. I love the, uh, I love the world and how we're gonna die. I, how bright and colorful everything is, but I, I just can't, I can't do it. I, it's a mix of me just being bad at it and some of the stuff in the game just feeling a bit cheap. I just, I can't get into it, man. Which is upsetting, honestly. Alright. We probably could run straight to the next area as soon as we land over here. It seems like it does give us a moment of him not looking around. But I'm too scared to try it, though. Because, like, we, we hardly have enough time to get over here as it is. Okay. So far, so good. At least we're going to make it to the checkpoint this time. 
Avalon says, I'm the same way. Love the characters and the goofy style, but it's a platform game and I don't like platformers. I actually do. At least I like other platformers. Like, I love Mario games, for instance. Super Meat Boy was a ton of fun. Um, I'm sure there's uh, Sonic. I, I mean, I definitely prefer Mario to Sonic, but I do really enjoy Sonic as well. But it's just Crash that I cannot, for the life of me, get into, man. But yeah, the characters and all that, it's great. Okay, we're ducked down. You don't see us. Even with that giant tree falling directly towards you, somehow you still don't see us. Thank God for another checkpoint. Can that dude see me all the way over here? I sincerely hope not. Oh God, I'm glad that land was there to stop us from sliding into the freaking water. Alright. Okay. Please tell me this section's done now. No, what do we got now? So we got boars and some dude trying to look at us. Can we kill them at least? And I'm assuming we can hide behind the pillars, right? Seems like it. Okay, well, we took a little bit of damage there, but we're alright. We're alright. I would love to play some Mario on here, like Mario 64 or something. There is that PC port of Mario 64. I could play that at some point on here. Um, it's just like a, an extra or something like that. I think somebody was working on, if I remember correctly, a Mario 64 port for P or for PS2. We're dead again. Ugh. How many lives do we have left? Two? Okay. Let's wait for him to do his looking thing. Anyways, yeah, no, I, I think somebody was doing a Mario 64 port for PS2. So I could play that and still be in theme of all the PS2 games. Or we'll just do it as like a, a side thing. I mean, we're playing a PS5 game on the stream here in a couple weeks once the Lord of the Rings is done, so. There are emulators and perfectly legal copies. Yeah, I mean, I have Mario 64 on uh, N64, but I just mean there is the PC port that was made that's, uh, and as because of that, because it was ported to PC, not officially, <laughs> obviously, but because it was ported to PC, it has, like, high-resolution textures, um, 16 by 9 support, there's some other things like mods and things, like, just all kinds of fun stuff with it. And I would love to, uh, to play it at some point. But, yeah. Spin the rocks to skim them across the water. Oh. Can we respawn those rocks, maybe? Because I think I got them in a bad location now. Ooh, very nice, okay. So I'm sure there were more secrets in that last area we could have collected, but honestly, I'm just glad to be out of there. And into the next area. <laughs> what is up with all the acapella music in this? It's so weird. Hey, what's up, man? Crash Twin Sanity soundtrack is it all acapella music like the whole thing like it's weird i did not expect that at all i i'm into it though like it sounds really good so what are we i guess we're probably trying to like body slam this dude not like that though okay yep <laughs> um Yep, I, I know we got to body slam the worm. I am just really bad at body slamming the worm. <laughs> and then... Oh, what happened? We must have got hit by one of the dudes with the spears or something. Alright, let's go into all the buildings. Maybe we can collect a little lives before we game over. I'm hoping this counts as another section, so even if we do game over, we won't uh, have to go clear back to that section before the boats. Because if I never have to do that section with the boats again, I will be extremely happy. Hey, thank you for the follow, man. I appreciate that. Thank you for being here. 
I hope you enjoy the PS2 gauntlet as much as I have. And uh, I suck at this game, just so... <laughs> if that wasn't already abundantly clear. Crash is not my game, man. <laughs> This is real. Yeah, I play all of my games on the stream with the, the real console. Mr. Noodle has cheered five bits. Thank you again, Mr. Noodle. I appreciate you, love. With your five little corgis. Very cute. But yeah, I'm uh, trying to collect and play every PS2 game that was released in North America, at least. So, all of the games that I play on the channel are on the real console. And then I use a uh, RetroTank 5X to upscale it a little bit. Just so that it looks a little bit nicer. And then I'm actually... I was supposed to be getting some... Uh, HD RetroVision cables. They came today. But we got some really bad weather in my area today, sadly. So I decided it's probably better to just wait an extra day to go pick those up. Than it is to Rick crashing the car or something. <laughs> Yes, every game from the North American list. Um, I'm not worrying about, like, variants, at least not to begin with. Someday I would love to include all of them, including variants. But right now I'm just trying to get at least one copy of every North American game. Like, or game released in North America. Um, I forget the exact no number, but it's, like, something around nearly 1,800 games total and I've got a long way to go I've got about a hundred so far but a <laughs> hundred is a, a long way from 1800 snowstorm here too yeah yep that's that's it's not as bad where I'm at as what a lot of places are getting to be honest um, but it is surprisingly slick though like we, we are in an area that usually gets wintry bad wintry conditions so I'm not at I'm used to driving in the snow but for as little snow as there were, it is surprisingly bad up here. You're not a native English speaker. Sorry if sometimes your words are weird. Hey, no problem, man. No problem at all. And honestly, so far, you have been doing exceedingly well. I always just find it... I always just find it amazing whenever somebody can speak to language to the degree that you can. I've always wanted to spend the time to learn more of another language. But I, uh... I haven't. I was studying Japanese for a little while, just in my own time, and then I took some classes for uh, French when I was younger, but I never got particularly far in that either, to be honest with you. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was studying a bit of Japanese, um, but I, I'm not, I never got particularly good at it. I could read katakana pretty like reasonably well and then I could read almost all hiragana um with with a pretty high level of accuracy but I never really spent any time to learn kanji which is a a very large part of the Japanese language obviously and uh my vocabulary was piss poor so oh yeah no I love anime man love it I love anime video games all that stuff I don't get as much time as maybe I wish I did to watch anime anymore um, but I still do really enjoy anime. I'm currently spending some time watching, uh, Death Note again. I watched it previously, but I'm watching it again. And then, um, a friend of mine is, re has been recommending that I watch Tokyo Revengers. So I'm checking, probably gonna check that out next. Japanese is hard. Not even words are like algorithms or math. <laughs> Japanese is hard, to be honest with you. Um, but, I mean, a lot of people say English is one of the hardest languages to learn. And obviously, as you know, a lot of people learn it. So, if I, if I stuck with it, I probably could have gotten decent at it. But it's been a couple years since I've looked at any of my Japanese books that I have. Um, so, yeah. Someday I would like to spend more time learning it again, though. My first time, actually... Like, the reason why I first wanted to start learning Japanese... I'm a huge Kingdom Hearts fan. And Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix never came to America, but I was able to import a copy of it. And, uh... I had a PS2 that could play imported games. 
So I would use that to play it, but obviously all of the text and everything was in Japanese. And at the time I understood no Japanese at all. But I found an awesome translation guide online to help play through it. And uh, using that, I was able to get through the game. And that's kind of what originally fueled me wanting to learn Japanese, but I never uh, said I never got particularly good at it though, sadly. I play a lot of retro stuff, but I do play modern things. Um, I don't play as many modern games these days as I used to, but I do still play some modern games. I'm, I'm scared of the worm now. Like, <laughs> so, okay, so we just had to keep hitting the worm is what I'm figuring out here, it looks like. Maybe we should hit this thing, get us, get us some health back. There we go. You just started playing Scarlet Nexus and you kind of want to watch the anime now. I don't know what Scarlet Nexus is. Hold on one sec. I'm going to Google that. Scarlet Nexus. Oh, I've seen the cover for this game before. Um, I didn't know that it was a anime, though, to be honest with you. That's cool. Yeah, I'll have to check out both the game and the anime at some point. Do you happen to know if it's on, like, VRV or anything like that? Or or where the best place is to, to watch it, in your opinion? Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> oh... Not Scarlet Johansson, sadly. Used to, gotcha. Right now playing Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, Crash Bandicoot is a classic good old days, bruh. Yeah, I I wish I liked it better than I did. <laughs> I, uh, with Crash Bandicoot, man. I, I'm just so bad at it that it makes it hard to enjoy almost, you know? But I love the, the characters, the atmosphere, the art, all that stuff. But, yeah. You don't know where it is? Ah, that's fine. I mean, I'm sure I can find it with a quick Google search. Okay, so he's going this way. Oh, he's going across the water. There he is. Okay. We got this. What is your age? I'm, uh, later 20s, yeah. I wish I was still, uh, uh that young. <laughs> a nice, cool 20 years old, but... Not quite. <laughs> yeah, PS2, I I actually grew up with the Nintendo. Uh, Nintendo, Nintendo 64, and then PlayStation was the order that I got game consoles in. But the PlayStation 2 always has, or has always had a special place in my heart. It's just one of my favorite consoles by far. And uh, that is why I decided whenever I decided that I wanted to try to get a complete set of a game, that's why I went for the PlayStation 2. Because I, I just knew that I, I loved it as a console. And yeah. Yeah. PS2 is special in my heart, exactly. Where did he go? Oh my god, these guys with the spears suck, man. Yes, exactly. Nostalgic for when I was a kid, that's it. Memories of the good old days. It's like before they even have their spear out, they can hit you. Maybe I can slide into them or something. There's got to be a better way to kill these dudes with spears than... than just trying to spin attack them. Yeah, there we go. Slide into them. That, well... They mostly seem to work. There's health in one of these buildings, is there not? Yeah, there we are. Collect that. Oh my lord, we get some health and then the worm just destroys us. Yeah, run, 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 run. Alright, got him once. I wish we could belly flop from a little bit higher up. It's uh, <laughs> kind of annoying that we have to do it right at the height of our jump the way we do. There we go, and he's gonna go around and back over to here. Ah, Budokai Tenkaichi 3, very good game, man. Very good game. Yeah, all of the Dragon Ball Z games on PS2 honestly were a lot of fun in my opinion. 
I don't know which one in particular would have been my favorite, but they were all very, very good. And uh, I wish I still had them, because those games are actually worth a decent amount of money now. Um, but I sadly had a house fire when I was a teenager, so I lost a lot of my old video games. I may still be able to find them. I had a cousin that um, grabbed a bunch of the stuff from my house, my old house. So I'm hoping that he has uh, that game, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3, as well as the other ones from the series. Because I had the entire collection of Dragon Ball games, and um, I would love to play them again. I was a bit weird. I even like taking the, the, the NPCs on there and having them fight each other. It's something that I used to do all the time, just for fun. And uh, I actually really enjoyed it, so... <laughs> I would like to do that again, even. Me too. Me too. If not, I mean, I'll get it eventually, since I'm trying to collect all of the games. But it would save me a pretty penny if I'm able to find them, though. Uh, I would rather you not kill me. Well, that went well. <laughs> do we have to do that whole section again? We do not. Thank the lords. Can we not spin? Are these guys invisible? Or invisible? Invulnerable? I'm not going to try to fight them, because... It seems pointless. Where... Are we just supposed to be running from them? Is it one of those sections? Yeah, okay, so this is like the the sections in Classic Crash with the, the ball running towards you. It's like that, but, you know. Wait, what? What is happening? <laughs> That's weird. The level, like, didn't load in there for a second. That was weird. Okay, well, yeah, just speed running. Yeah, exactly. Just gotta go fast. I mean, honestly, though, this game's been relatively bug-free. Like, it hasn't been too bad. I can't, I can't complain too much about that. Most of my problems with the game is ju just stem from the fact that I'm bad at it. Like, <laughs> if I was better at the game, I would probably enjoy it a fair bit more. <laughs> Wait, we just went in a whole circle. Yeah, Crash Tag Team Racing is a lot of fun. I was playing that not too long ago myself, and I think we just... Oh no, we're alive. I thought we died. I thought that was like a death pit again. <laughs> really? The new one's not as good as the old one, you're saying? It's good, but no, like the first one. Gotcha. A lot of these older games tend to have fewer bugs, which is just, like, backwards, you know? You would expect, at least in my mind, you would think that older games would have more bugs, but I guess the modern culture is just release it however and then patch it as you go along or whatever. But, uh, it's too bad. Hey, what's up? Uh, X Adam, the boss man. <laughs> How you doing, man? Thank you for being here. Ah, just playing a little bit of Crash, man. A game that I am honestly terrible at, so, uh, <laughs> fair warning there. Although, yeah, we still got, like, ten minutes left. It's getting pretty late here where I'm from. We're gonna have to end the stream relatively soon, sadly. But we do got about five, ten minutes left still. farmer's market is tomorrow, and my wumpa trees won't grow. For my orchard is riddled with greedy worms. If you rid my land of these pests, I'll give you this power crystal. So we gotta rid some pests for a power crystal. Uh... Okay. <laughs> oh lord. I love the character in this game, man. It's so good. Doing great. Just got done with work and now watching some Crash. Hell yeah, man. I appreciate you being here watching some Crash. It's 12.43 here. It's, uh, one forty-three here. It's almost 2 in the morning. Just shy of 2 in the morning. Are we playing... What are we... Are we playing Whack-A-Mole? <laughs> Wait, why did that not... Why did that not work? Can we not... Are we not supposed to be slamming on these guys' head? I'm... I'm... I'm confused. Hey! 
Mr. Noodle, thank you for the five bits, love. Whack-a-mole, that's what I thought, but it doesn't seem to be working. Am I doing it wrong? Oh, you know what? I have to grab him. I have to whack them with Cortex. I forgot that Cortex had the thing that he can do. Which PlayStation color coded their cases for different runs? Color coded the cases for different runs. I'm not sure off the top of my head, to be honest. And then you remembered, yep. <laughs> uh. Right, we got this now. We just gotta get 15, that's not too bad. We're already almost done. Now that we know what the hell we're doing, it's not so bad. <laughs> there we go. This way. Da, 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 da. I'm loving the music, it's catchy. It's so catchy. I it makes me wish that more games would do acapella soundtracks. Like, not something I ever thought I'd be saying, but tis good, man. It's really good. Which PlayStation color coded their cases? I mean, like, PlayStation has like black label, red label stuff like that. But I don't know. Taken in the sights of Insanity Island here. Nice digs. So much to see. So much to destroy. You got the native village, the lava caves, the totem gods. Yeah, back in the 10th dimension, we don't have anything near as nice as the totem gods. The vivid colors, the intricate carving, you know, it's almost as if they're alive. <laughs> yeah. Almost. Exactly as if they're alive. Oh, snap. They actually alive? That our next boss? Perfect timing, man. It's a great way to end the stream. Okay, how the hell do we have... Or how the hell do we do this? I'm guessing his hands are gonna get, like, stuck in the ground? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we smash them? Maybe? Nope, maybe not. The case color had specific meaning from first run to second run and all that as well. I honestly don't know. To press X and then circle to throw Cortex. Or square and then circle to throw Cortex. Unless... Oh, no, you can just jump to throw him too. Ah, very cool. Ah, amazing music is right. Where is Cortex? Where'd he go? I need you, man. There you go. Like I said, the only, the only thing I can think of, Avalon, is the whole... Uh, them doing like the the PlayStation hits are in red compared to the the regular ones which are all like black label that's the only thing I can think of but I, I'm not sure I don't think that's what you're talking about um, but they've done that for for all the PlayStation games PlayStation 1 and 2 were black label red label and then PlayStation I don't remember PlayStation 3 case colors but four and five are both blue and red. I'm pretty sure. Amazing music. No kidding, man. Boss timer time. Oh, God. That was getting a little close. Is he gonna scream at us again? There we go. Oh, no! I need you to eat Cortex. <laughs> My not-so-friendly friend that I have here. Unlikely ally, that's what he is. <laughs> If we just keep running in a circle, I don't think he can hit us. I mean, it's working so far, so we're just gonna keep doing it. <laughs> Alright. I'm not giving you the crystal cortex. You have to learn to share, bro. Ah! Freaking died. I died. Sorry, we'll try it again. We have extra lives, right? We do. Can we skip the cutscene? We can. I don't know what button did it. I just mashed everything. <laughs> Maybe triangle? I'm not sure. All right. We know what we're doing now. We can do this. We got this. No problem. 
My half hour timer for this last section has run up, but we are going to finish this before we go. My favorite crash? Um, so far, honestly, probably this one if we're not counting the racing games. Um, but to be perfectly clear, I've only ever played Crash, uh, this one, Crash Twin Sanity, and then I played the remake ones for PS4, PC, and all that. Um, never beat them, just played them. I also do a podcast with one of my buddies, and, uh, that's one of the games that we tried out for the podcast. So I played a couple hours of each of those three remake games. And, uh, like, they were good. The camera angle I didn't really like. It didn't seem to show enough of the level. And it also messed with my depth perception a little bit. But I've discovered from playing this game that I just have poor depth perception when it comes to Crash, apparently. I never really have those problems with, uh, like, Mario games, for instance. But for some, le for some reason, I can't, I can't get the depth down too well in Crash Bandicoot. The remakes are good talking about the classic trilogy i see that's the thing i never played the classic trilogy i want to i really really do want to but uh i haven't played them yet i don't think i own any of them either if i remember correctly so i'll have to pick those games up and try them out someday whenever i finish the what i'm calling playstation 2 gauntlet my quest to collect and stream every north american ps2 game Someday when I'm done with this, I plan on doing the same for PlayStation 1 games, so. The last one, Crash, It's About Time, is good, but the characters are kind of weird. So is that your favorite then? The, the last one, the third one? It's About Time? I don't know why during the second phase I can't seem to get... Um... Cortex in the dude's mouth. And that's what, three or four times now that we've thrown it and missed his mouth, but... Your favorite is Crash Team Racing and Trilogy from PS1. Fair enough, yeah. Like I said, I do want to try the Trilogy from PS1, because I feel like I would like the Trilogy more... Uh, the original Trilogy on PS1 more than I actually like the remakes. And maybe, maybe we were too close, and that's why we couldn't get him in. Because uh, we were pretty close that time and we missed on the, the first one. Yours is Wrath of Cortex. Is that, is that also part of the original trilogy? Or is that a, a slightly newer game? Adam. There we go. Yeah, okay. So, so stand farther back. I think that's what we're learning here. Try not to get so close. 2002 is so the newer. Very cool. Is a game from PS2 and Classic Xbox. Very cool. Those are consoles that I need to collect. I have most of the retro consoles, at least Nintendo and Sony stuff, but I don't actually own a single Microsoft console anymore. Growing up, I had an Xbox, and I quite liked it, to be honest with you. But uh, sadly, it broke, and I just never got another one. I did have a couple Xbox 360s, but they either got the Red Ring of Death or I sold the ones that I had because... There just weren't that many actual Xbox games that I wanted to play. Most of the stuff that was on Xbox that I was interested in was on PC anyways. So I just kind of played it there. And then uh, I like the, the PlayStation Sony exclusives more, generally speaking. Xbox Series S is a good deal for the price to get a newer generations of consoles. It is. It's very true. Especially once you consider um, Games Pass, if you like Games Pass. That's a uh, an awesome deal from Microsoft there. You're waiting for the X yourself, Adam. I was lucky enough to be able to get a PlayStation 5 during uh, Black Friday. Well, Mr. Noodle, my girlfriend, actually, is the one who got it for me. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have it. But I do have a PS5, so that is my next-gen console that I have. Which works just fine for me, because like I said, Xbox games all come to PC anyways. And, uh... That is where I play most new games at. Like, I'm, I, I, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. I, I have a full-time job outside of streaming. Streaming's really just a hobby for me, so. And, uh, it's, uh, it pays the bills. It, it's nothing fancy. I, I work retail, so it's not like I'm making bank or anything, but 
I'm, I'm lucky enough to have a roof over my head. I never go hungry. And I am able to occasionally afford nice things like a PlayStation 5. So, you know, I can't complain. Can't complain at all. Same here. Just got done with a 12-hour shift. Do you work, uh, do you still work like five, six hours, or I'm sorry, five, six days? Or do you work less days but 12-hour shifts? Because honestly, that's something that I think I would like to do, is work like three or four days a week, but work 10 to 12-hour shifts. I did that for a little while whenever I was a, a manager. Six days a week, 12 hours a day. See, that's rough. That's rough, man. Hopefully it, uh, I mean, that's not bad. It is rough, but yeah, that's pretty decent money, though. Did we finally win? Is it over? Did we do it? I think we did it. Hey! I like these stupid aliens. Reverse the device is an operation, sucking the goodness out of this dimension and leaving behind the worst of all possible worlds. We just like making a mess. See you wrong, losers! <laughs> I love that. I love the zipper just opening uh, dimensions between worlds there. Yes, yes. In the dark ocean of my intellect swims a magnificent whale of a plan. To the laboratory! It's We're very cool. Yet. The game is on. You work healthcare as a nursing person. <laughs> I mean, hey, no, that's awesome, though, man. Somebody's got to do it, Adam. And I'm sure all of the people that you help out really appreciate it. Although, I mean, I've heard some horror stories from healthcare people, too, of uh, the people they're trying to help not being the best uh, or the most uh, the most uh, thankful for the help that they're receiving. So, But I thank you, man. Yeah, when you're an adult and your time is being a student, finish is rough. Yeah, I I did do the whole college thing, so I feel you there. But uh, sadly, I, I, I did have a career in my field for a little while, but where I'm at, there's not a whole lot of jobs in it. I went for uh, to be a computer programmer. Software engineering is what I went for specifically. Um, and yeah, there's just not a whole lot of jobs in my area for that sort of thing. So... I ended up in retail, did the whole manager thing, and I make, like I said, it pays the bills. I can't, I can't complain too much. The price is good on the Series S, but you have to buy more storage because the 380 gigs or so storage will hold nothing. Yeah, but I mean, it depends a lot on what you're playing though too, right? Because I mean, like my PlayStation 5, for instance, I right now only have like four games installed on it, so... But if you're playing a lot of games, yeah, I can see that being annoying. <laughs> and with as expensive as the storage is, is on both consoles, it uh, it's almost like with the Series S, one of my friends was joking around saying he's about to just buy a second Series S because of how expensive the storage is. <laughs> hey, thank you for the follow, Adam. I appreciate it, man. Well, oh my god, the stories. I can, <laughs> yeah, I can only imagine. 22 college and work is a thing. Yeah, I went to college relatively young. Um, I was 17 whenever I first enrolled, um, finished not too long after that. It was an accelerated course, so we did 40-hour weeks instead of 12, so I was able to finish in one year. Um, so I didn't work during it, but I've known many people that have gone to work and college at the same time, and I don't envy them at all. <laughs> Plus drinking, yeah, right? Drink is no bad for your health. I mean, it's not great for your health, but, you know... When you're young, you do things. <laughs> you started late. And nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. It's just the whole high school thing wasn't for me. So I got out of high school as soon as I could and then got into college. Um, oh, you mean college? <laughs> uh, yeah, I actually enjoyed college a fair bit because I really liked what I was doing. Um, I didn't really like the, like, you know, the regular math courses, and then we had to take, like, business courses and stuff like that. I didn't really care for that stuff so much, but I did enjoy the regular, just everyday programming stuff, because, you know, you can use a normal USB 3.0 external hard drive and store games on them. Yeah, that's the same way it is on the uh, PlayStation 5 as well. 
you can s download games and save them to the external hard drive, but you can't play them off of it. You have to move them back and forth. Unless you're playing older, like, PlayStation 4 games, then it will. And I think it works like that for the Xbox as well, right? Where you can store, like, Xbox One games on your external hard drive and then uh, play them. But any Xbox Series games have to be moved back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. I uh, That's what I went to college for was uh, Advanced Software Engineering was the name of the 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 course that I went through. Um, I did professional programming for a little while. Uh, nowadays, I just do things on the side. I do I do a little bit of work for hire every now and then, but it's it's very very rare these days. I'm working on a video game with a friend of mine, but it's been slow going. Um, it's a it's a platforming game mixed with some Castlevania like elements, and uh, someday whenever there's there's more to show. I'll uh, show it off on stream and YouTube and all that stuff, but right now there's just it's it's very very early alpha still. Like you can the you can run around, right? Like you can do that. You can jump. Yeah, <laughs> you can explore the world. Uh, well, you can explore some of the test levels, but that's about it in the game right now. So not a whole lot of stuff to show. Xbox One games will play from this drive. Or that stupidly expensive Seagate drive, which costs as much as the console, yeah. The price you think it's worth it. Yeah, I mean, like, and like I said, if you're using it mostly, in my opinion, the Xbox, if you're going to use it mostly for, like, Game Pass or something, I, I think it's worth it. But still early in your work, going to go up the ladder. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. That was originally my plan in retail, but I had some bad management experience that decide, that made me decide I was happy enough where I was at and just figured I would leave it there. So, and thankfully, like I said, I, I make enough money where I'm at in uh, my retail career that that I'm not, I don't feel forced to move up any higher than where I'm at. Not the worst thing because games seem to come in waves. You'll be playing three or four at the time, then switch them. Yeah, on, at least that's how I am. There's one or two games that I always leave installed on my consoles and PC and whatnot. I love Stardew Valley, for instance. It's a comfort game for me. So I, I pretty much always have that one installed. And uh, Final Fantasy VII is one of my favorite games of all time. So I pretty much always have that installed. I don't even end up playing it that often these days, to be honest. But anytime I see it on a console, I'm just like, well, I have to install it. I have to. <laughs> to the moon. <laughs> 100k is your goal, but you really hope you make it? Yeah, I hope you do too, man. That'd be awesome. Uh, I live in America. The uh, United States of America. It's, uh, I mean, <laughs> it's not amazing, the pandemic. It's been pretty rough, to be honest. But, you know, thankfully in my area, it's not the worst. Uh, the, the We have a few hospitals within our... Um, you know, within like a hundred miles of us and none of them have been completely like overran filled up like I know some have been. So yeah. We're more northeast ourselves. Myself and Mr. Noodle, if she's around here somewhere. That's actually my girlfriend, Mr. Noodle, if you ever see her in uh in chat. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean could be better, could be worse, the whole pandemic thing. Hopefully we get it all figured out soon enough, and uh, we can all get back to our, our lives. Hey, speak of the devil, there's Mr. Noodle with a five-bit cheer. Thank you, love. But all right. Uh, it's, we gotta start wrapping it up here. It is after two o'clock my local time. Yes, yep, Mr. Noodle's my girlfriend. She is very supportive. She's in pretty much every stream I do. And uh, she loves to donate little bits here and there so she can play with the uh, <laughs> play with the emojis. Hasn't been great there, but you're a farmer, live out in the country, and almost never go into town. I am an introvert, so <laughs> I wish I could uh, not go into town as much as I do. But, I mean, my job is I work retail, so I kind of have to go into town for that and then deal with people. Now, granted, I'm not sure if I could do the whole farmer thing either. <laughs> I grew up in an area that had some fields in it. Not like massive ones, but some corn and some uh, uh, hay. And uh, I would help bale the hay some from time to time and stuff like that when I was younger. And uh, I, it gave me a good appreciation for people that do that sort of work. But it also told me that it is not what I want to do with my life. <laughs> I enjoy gardening, but yeah, I don't think I could do an actual farming thing. 
getting married soon or what? Uh, someday. <laughs> We've talked about it. We've been together for a long time, Mr. Noodle and I. We're talking like 10 years. So like we basically consider ourselves married already. And we've discussed actually getting married someday, and neither one of us are against getting married, but it's not a priority for us either. At least the way I look at it, and from talking to Mr. Noodle, it seems like she mostly agrees. It's just kind of a, a piece of paper to us, you know? So, it'd be nice to do someday, but right now we're just more worried about, you know, us spending time together and getting our, our life together. Hopefully getting a house someday of our own, not renting, would be a big thing for us. Stuff like that. But all right. Yeah, if there's nothing else, I think that's pretty much all we got time for. And more cats, says Mr. Noodle. Yeah, Mr. Noodle always wants more cats. But yeah, it's getting late. Thank you again, everybody, for being here. Avalon, it's nice to see you in the crash stream here, man. I appreciate it. And then Man of, uh, man of Iron... I think I misread your name earlier. Man of Iron, thank you for being here and for the follow. And Adam as well. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate y'all being here and joining me on this crazy little uh, quest I'm calling the PS2 Gauntlet. <laughs> get a house is important when you get married. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, man. And it'll save us a lot of money in the long run, too. Are we ending the stream? Yep. Yep, I am. I Like I mentioned before, I, I, uh, I work full time. So most nights, I have a, a schedule up on Twitch if you're ever curious, but most nights I just get a stream for about an hour and a half, two hours, and then I try to stream uh, on Sundays as well, but right now they're making me work on Sunday, sadly. <laughs> so a little pause on the stream there, but usually how I do it is I play something random for the PS2 Gauntlet um, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays, usually for about one to two hours. And then on Sunday, I'll be playing a game that I'm trying to beat, completely play through. That was Lord of the Rings, The Third Age, but that game's almost finished. There's one or two more episodes of that probably, or streams of that probably coming. And then I think we're gonna be doing Ratchet and Clank on the PS5, and then we'll go back to something on the PS2 probably after that. You were originally on your way to bed, but saw you were, I was on, so thought you would stop in. Well, I appreciate it, I really do, Avalon. And I hope you have a good night, man. Don't say bye, just see, see you later. Well, I'll see you later, Man of Iron. Hopefully, I see you all later. But seriously, thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll see you in another stream here in a day or two. Have a good night, everyone. Cool, okay, so we can open the box. We got Essence of uh, Amahagane, crystallized form of the power, collect three to unlock their power. Health, attack power, or defense power can be increased by using the accumulated Essence in the status screen. Excuse me. Essence is normally invisible, but if you generate Tamuai in an area where the Amahagane 